Hello everyone, factoring into today's first video, we're doing the ECMWF 42 day forecast for today's first video. So we're going to look at uh, mean sea level pressure anomalies, 500 millibar height anomalies, temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next 42 days slash six weeks um, from the ECMWF. And I shall get on that view uh, very shortly. This would normally be released on a Friday evening, but it's been a very busy day um, on Friday, or it was a very busy day on Friday at Gas Weather Vids. Um, so, so I had to delay this until Saturday uh, morning. So uh, sorry about that. That, but uh, this is the delayed ECM WF 42 day forecast. I should get on it for you very shortly. Just say that the weekend forecast is coming up later on. That's the detailed uh, weekend uh, look ahead. So uh, we'll see what's going on there. I think weather will be getting colder again uh, later this week, and there is a risk of uh, uh, some more snow as well. More about that later on. And then we'll have a 10 to 14 day update for you, uh, which will be uh, released later on this afternoon, including all of the regular features. Right, we're at ECMDF.ing. Uh, for this. Uh, thank you so much to them for supplying us uh, with the chart. We're going to be focusing on Ireland and the UK uh, for this one. Um, so this is how the week one mean cell pressure anomaly is looking, taking us from the 80th to the 25th of January. So uh, going for blocking, high pressure will be within Greenland and Iceland. Low pressure will be across the north and the west of Europe along with the jet stream uh, pushing southwards uh, as well. So it implies that it could be quite an unsettled but also uh, pretty cold and uh, wintry sort of week. This is the 500 millibar height only for week one from the North Pole view down. So that, of course, is the North Pole of the Arctic. Uh, just there, you see how the blocking extends down into Greenland and the North Atlantic. Low pressure is uh, running southwards uh, as well, along with a jet stream and could be pulling in the winds from an east or northeasterly direction. So uh, that could be cold and wintry. Let's have a look at the temperature anomaly uh, for week one. So uh, generally looking quite cold across northern and northwestern parts of Europe. So again, Scandinavia comes out cold and average. Ireland and the UK cold and average as well. It's a little bit milder uh, across Germany, low countries, France. So western Europe generally a little bit milder than it has been. Um, but for either for the UK and for Scandinavia, actually looking like it's a relatively uh, cold week to start us off. Pretty unsettled uh, as well. Above average precipitation through many northern and western parts of Europe. You see where it's drier than average in the North Atlantic uh, towards Greenland and Iceland. And that's where we've got the blocking areas of high pressure jet stream. Is pushed south. Right, that's week one uh, done. Let's have a look at week two. Then this is going to take us from the 25th of January to the 1st of February. Um, so again, we have uh, blocking uh, around green. We've got high pressure up towards green and ice and low pressure through uh, many western parts of Europe. Jet stream pushing through something like that uh, as well. The uh, week one. Uh, two 500 millibar height anomaly from the 25th of January to the 1st of February looks like that really confirms what the mean cell pressure is showing again blocking to the north low pressure running in from the Atlantic into uh, Northern Europe along with the jet stream as well the uh, week two temperature anomaly continues to look pretty cold through much of Northern Europe actually it's a bit colder across Scandinavia um, very cold week coming up there Ireland and the UK again signal to have uh, cold and average temperatures. It's milder than average to ourselves. So we really have got a divide here. And of course, along this divide, where, where the mild air from the south is, uh, or the milder air from the south is meeting this colder air from the north. Along that divide, there is the potential, you know, there'll be the potential for snow in, uh, in places. And that will be through the UK, potentially through Ireland uh, as well. The week two uh, precipitation anomaly Looks very similar to week one, uh, really. So, so quite a quite a wet week coming up here uh, for the last week of January. Above average precipitation, dry, dry conditions uh, with blocking to to the north, and and again along the boundary between the the low pressure and the blocking along this boundary, which is probably through central parts of the UK, could be a little bit further southwards though. Uh, along that boundary, there is a risk of significant and potentially disruptive snow. Week three will take us uh, from the 1st to the 8th of February. Very little change, really, uh, as we're going along here. The blocking signal still there towards Greenland and Iceland. Low pressure still through here. 
jet stream probably still coming through there, something like that, um, to remain blocked and potentially remaining rather wintry uh, as well. Week 3, 500 millibar height anomaly uh, looks like this. So trough of low pressure continues to be around western parts of Europe, blocking to the north. Low pressure again is pushed southwards. It all looks rather cold and wintry, to be honest. Um, week uh, 3, temperature anomaly. If anything, it's perhaps turning colder into early February more widely uh, across Western Europe. I mean, I'm the UK cold throughout, really, as is Scandinavia. But you see how the how the mild temperatures are draining away from, like, France and Germany. So it could be going, you know, even colder, really, as we get through into the first week of February across many Western parts uh, of Europe. Week 3 precipitation anomaly, sort of uh, still same idea, I suppose. Drive an average... Uh, within the normal latitudes, uh, wetter than average across much of Western Europe. There's a boundary between the, the milder weather and the cold, and the drier weather. Um, uh, you know, uh, the, the drier, colder weather uh, and the milder, wetter weather. There's a boundary that could continue to produce perhaps uh, some quite significant areas of snow. Week four, uh, further out we go, more un unreliable it's getting, of course. Week four takes us from the 8th to the 15th of February. Um... The low pressure looks like it's slipping away southwards here. Blocking could be taking over to the north. So it's maybe starting to turn drier, but it would, I think, maybe be turning wind into the east. So so it could be, you know, turning drier, but potentially turning um, colder, maybe. Um, this is how the week four 500 millibar height anomaly looks. Still looking cold, really. Uh, above average heights around Greenland and Iceland. Probably turning the wind into the east and to the northeast. We are losing the low pressure, so it's probably turning drier, but but it could be getting uh, colder. The temperature anomaly generally looking cold for northern parts uh, of Europe. I mean, the further out we go, the week of signal is getting, but um, but that could be that could be cold again, really, for, for most northern and western parts of Europe. And the week four precipitation uh, anomaly. We're losing the wet of an average signal, and it's looking uh, drier towards Greenland and towards Iceland uh, as well. Right, we go through to week five, which is the 15th, 22nd of February. Uh, signals getting ever weaker. Higher pressure around Iceland, perhaps, could continue to bring the wind in from uh, the east. This could be a cold February <laughs> that's shaping up here. Uh, 500 millibar height anomaly, above average heights to our west northwest, below average heights over towards the east part of Europe. So that could bring the coldest weather down into the east of Europe, I suppose. Um, week 5 temperature anomaly, just generally looking quite cold. This is a cold February uh, here, following on from a cold January, uh, of course. Um, so, so yeah, cold, cold week again for week five across much of northern and western Europe. There is uh, for precipitation a signal for drier weather. So, as we're going into further into February, it's getting drier, but it is, it is remaining. Uh, colder. And then lastly, we get through to week six, which takes us from the 22nd of February to the 1st of March. Uh, and nothing to go on whatsoever there in terms of mean civil pressure anomalies. Week six, 500 mil of our height anomaly. Just also a little bit anti-cyclonic, really, with high pressure more or less over the top of uh, the UK and northern Europe. Week 6, temperature anomaly. Um, again, very weak signal, nothing really to work with. And week 6, precipitation anomaly. Suggested uh, to be relatively dry, I suppose. And that, of course, gets us to the beginning of meteorological spring on the first day of March uh, in six weeks' time. This looks like it's a, a protracted cold spell. Uh, so it's been cold through January so far. The cold started around Christmas Eve. We've, we've had it cold through January across much of northern and western Europe uh, 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 so far. Looks like the ECM wants to keep that cold weather going through the rest of January. And potentially, uh, most of February could be shaping up to be pretty cold uh, as well. So, so this would, of course, lock us into what would be a cold winter for the winter of 2020, 2021. Uh, and there will be ongoing risk of uh, significant wintry impacts from ice and, and snow and all of that sort of stuff. 
Right, so that's how it's looking. That's your delayed EC42 day uh, look at. We'll do it all over again next week. Hopefully next week we will be able to bring it back on Friday as usual. We will have the weekend forecast coming up for you later on today. And then the 10 to 14 day will be released uh, later on this afternoon. So keep checking back to all of the uh, updates. But for this uh, video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.